Well, hello, hello. Uh, today we are in the garage, finally, after a long time. I had a good time riding and it was uh, good fun and making videos, but now it's finally time to uh, check this baby out behind me to see what happens. Now we're gonna take this thing out of the cradle. I am waiting for a switch because the kill switch is dead. Um, and then I will uh, go through the legal process, but um, for now she's gonna go off the cradle and I'm gonna put the 7240 in there to see um, if I can see anything uh, broken. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so my uh, testing today is going to start with uh, taking the spark plugs out. I'm gonna turn her over just to make sure, um, double check I have a spark. Uh, if the spark is okay, I'll um, put a compression, I'll have a look inside the pistons, um, just with a torch through the plug holes. And then I'm gonna try for compression, see uh, if we have a compression, if everything is okay. And uh, I guess uh, that's where I start and um, that will determine our next move. Spark. Yeah. It was nice and strong. Okay, front cylinder. What? Oh. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So we have a nice and powerful spark, which is good. Let me uh, check for compression next. So, so far, I'm not sure what the problem is. I don't think I had a much of a compression. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. You can tell me in a comment. Uh, when I do compression on the other bikes with a uh, electric start, it pumps up so much more pressure in a, in a piston in here. Whenever I did a compression with a kickstart only, it um, wasn't that simple. I could never get over 100, I think. Maybe I wasn't exactly 50, but... Um, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I could never get it higher. So, uh, if you know if they have a trick how to measure uh, compression properly, let me know. Okay, pistons are okay, but there was a lot of oil down here, so I'm going to remove the push rods and have a, have a look what's happening there. Spark compression, it's quite low, but I uh, I never thought, even when I started building this bike, well, 
The reason I haven't done the top end is that uh, when I bought the bike, the previous owner told me that the um, top has been rebuilt, so um, I didn't touch it. I have only rebuilt the bottom, retimed everything, adjusted the primary, checked the transmission, and all the all that. But I haven't touched the top end of the motor. Um, so, at the moment, the summary, we have sparks. We have spark, nice and strong. We have the little compression, but I think it was always like that. The way I measure it, I don't have a super fancy tool. And um, uh, so we have whatever I think we have. The interesting thing is that the rear, pist rear head push rods were very, very loose. There was maybe a millimeter or two millimeters slack in the push rods, and both of them intake and exhaust. Why did it happen? Um, same on a both, <laughs> on a both, um, both push rods. I don't know. It feels like um, the only way it would happen if the whole head moved up. <laughs> Is that possible? That would explain oil everywhere. Somebody messaged that um, maybe the valve didn't close and then piston hit the valve and it pushed a whole head up loose. So if the whole head is sticking up cup and wheel, the oil will piss everywhere and um, she would lose compression. But I had a more compression in the rear. That's a thing. It's good to talk to you because I think out loud so i'm gonna check all the bolts holding the rear head in so um see if there is any play in there all right let's check it <laughs> okay <laughs> okay okay holy fuck balls ah beep hey um you ready for this Ooh. Um, I don't think anything broke as such, uh, but, well, let me show you. <clears throat> you, um, see the head bolt? I am pretty sure I should not be able to spin it with my finger. What about this one at the back here? Oh, look! <laughs> Why is it loose? No wonder push rods were 2 mil up. Oh, Look at the other side. It's on the tighter side. Fuck. Look at it. I can freaking spin it with my fingers. What about the front? Oh, shit. Are you for real? <laughs> Why they are not even... Um, shouldn't there be at least spring washers? Or something? Or lock nut or nylogs? I don't, maybe not nylogs, they get hot, but... Shouldn't we have a fucking washer in there to hold it tight? Okay, I'm gonna take the push rods out, tighten those things properly, uh, put some spring washers on it, and um, give it a start. Bloody hell. <laughs> Riding a motorcycle with a, your uh, head's not tightened up to the engine case. That's ridiculous! 
All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit flabbergasted. I don't get it. One thing you need to keep checking. You see, this is kind of frustrating when you, you can't trust anyone. If you buy an old motorcycle and somebody tells you they did some work on it, man, unless you check every single little thing, um, then you get stranded somewhere on the road, don't you? You know, when I build, um, when I build this thing, you know, I made sure I put, um, you know, spring washers on everything and, uh, they are all, uh, lock, uh, what is it called? Locks, uh, tightened together, you know, but I build it, everything from the ground up, this thing. So, uh, you know, I made sure that everything I do is, is good. Uh, I tighten them all up and see what happens. Let me see if I have some spring washers at least. Maybe I can find enough. Probably that side. One, two. I might not have enough. Nah. So uh, I have dismantled, put some pusher, took some push rods out. I got everything loose, goes out so I can get to the bolts. And now uh, I don't have enough uh, spring washers. So um, I'm gonna pop to our uh, local hardware store, see if I can uh, find some. So um, let's get my, uh, uh, what is it called? Bicycle down and go for a wonder. Okay, okay, so we have uh, Spring washer is installed, uh, the bolts are untightened at the moment. I have the spring washers in on this side, uh, push rods are out, so the heads should be easy enough just to tighten up. I don't think there's gonna be the rubber bands, rubber grommets should be fine for the heads to move a little bit if they need to. So um, now, I'm just gonna tighten everything down proper, torque it up, and put it back together. Okay, here is my little uh, invention. Well, not really invention, it's just a little hack. I thought about it uh, yesterday night, funnily enough. Uh, I wanted to, I want to torque the um, uh, engine base bolts and. Um, I have a torque wrench, but no socket, so anything uh, fits in there. So my idea is to um, use my uh, my spinner, which is the right side for for the engine bolt, and then the and a quarter inch socket fits inside, fits perfect into into the socket thing so now I have a extended arm I'll have to uh, clean it up and move move the move the thing in but um it should work <laughs> that was a very good explanation that wasn't it <laughs> well you can see what I've done so this is how it goes I have the Torque wrench set up to 40 newton meters, so 30 pounds. Then uh, the um, so spinner goes onto the bolt. This attaches to the smaller spinner. I have cable tied to the top, and then torqued. So we 
have the head bolts finally tightened up and um, now for assembly of everything else push rods exhaust all the little bolts and air uh, oil hoses and everything let's do it Joke. Um, time to put the spark plugs back in and uh, we can give her a start. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay. So uh, it's done. I have uh, tightened up all the base bolts. They are all now spring washered. I have tightened all the head bolts, uh, the rocker covers. They were, some of them were pretty loose, plugs are clean, everything in tidy up, the push rods, push rods are adjusted, everything is, everything is done. So um, let's give her a start, let's give it a couple kicks and um, I do a three or four primer kicks and then uh, we uh, turn the key on and see what happens. So uh, fingers crossed. The it is all it was from with the bike. That would be pretty cool. I have learned a few things. All right, let's do this. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm trying to learn from my previous experiences that I'm not gonna keep kicking the bike a million times uh, and uh, blue, blue and black my knees like I usually do. Um, this edge of the <laughs> battery box is pretty sharp. So uh, yeah, let's not do that. I don't know. Might just leave it and uh, try next time have a think about it well we want to see more <laughs> adventures with this alley and see what happens what i what i can find out um subscribe and do all that shit uh you'll will find out later what's going on but for the for this episode i think that's enough and I have enough. I'm tired. I have to get prepped for work. So um, I better go and do that. I can't be in a garage forever. I enjoyed it last two days. But um, uh, yeah, I need to call it quits for now. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, watch some of these videos around or whatever happens. And uh, we'll get to this baby next time. Alright, see ya.
He's going! Okay, I thought that um, I'll give her a little moment to uh, chill out and calm down because when uh, I haven't been starting her for ages and uh, she was just sitting, I'm thinking you need to be patient with these bikes. If she doesn't want to go, just give her a minute, you know, to wake up. So I fiddled with the indicator because it fell off last time, so I tightened it up. and. Then I thought, I'll give it another go. So I give it a go, and the first kick, well, you saw it. She comes to life, so... Um, well, that was pretty lucky that it was just the engine bolts loose. And uh, because the whole head came up, it uh, loosened up the push rods. So uh, there was a maybe two, three millimeter gap. So the push rods weren't opening the uh, valves any longer. That's why she just stopped working. And uh, now everything sunk in, everything has been uh, properly adjusted. She is, she's running, so holy shit, I was pretty lucky. I was pretty lucky, uh, considering that uh, she stopped working in the middle of nowhere. Alright, <laughs> so I can finish this episode with a smile on my face. We are working. <laughs> blue, blue baby's alive. Red's alive, the black one's alive, so we have a little iron head trio, all working motorcycles. And this one hopefully soon be legal, so um, it's all good. Yeah, happy days. Well, I hope you lasted till the end and saw the result, because I'm excited, so uh, yeah. Thank you, thanks for watching, thank you for your support and ideas. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!